this movie is entirely going to be in Carlson Point Cloud Basic 2019. First thing we want to do is load up a new Point Cloud project using the Point Cloud Manager command. Okay, we are going to do new and we're going to overwrite this file, basic underscore backyard. Let's replace it. And there's nothing in the file, nothing processed. And we're going to hit the right key here, do import, and we're going to do like a PTS file. And it is in this directory here. There's our PTS file. We pick open, pick open. And it now is importing. It's only about 30 meg or a million points. It's a small hand scanned point cloud using the dot product DPI 7N scanner. It will come in with intensity that is dark to light and color red, green, blue RGB. Okay, there's the DPI file. Come down to properties. And sure enough, it's about uh, 26 million points. And you can see the origin is close to 0, 0, 0, 0. Very small location. And at this point, we're going to hit this and with the right key, pick it, highlight it, hit the right key on the mouse, and then pick view to create a scene. We'll go with the default. We're going to do color, and then there's only one option or type, and we'll leave it in isometric. Pick OK. And there you go. And to highlight the use of this, if you get this out, if you make it any size you want, and you just want to make it full size and dock with this perfectly, you hit this little tile windows button, and it will automatically dock itself. Okay, at this point, we uh, want to draw this in as conk. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to action, and we're going to come down and do point. This is virtual field surveying here by field codes, as if you were surveying out in the field and in the data collector typing in descriptions to draw line work and or symbols, or both, by code. So let's pick the code. And we're going to go up to structures and pick conch. And let's I hit the left key down and come up here. And we're just going to pick here. You can see it says conch pick. Now let's say that that is actually um, a curve. So I'll do start PC and we'll come up here and put a PC. We'll come up there, there, and right there is the end of the PC. We'll say, oh, there, I put a PT already on it. And now we come in the straightaway. And you know what? I'll end it. So I'll do end line work. And now I'm going to scroll around and we'll start up over here. And it starts another one. You can see put a B on it automatically. And right here I'm going to do start a curve. And we'll end one right there. And that was the second one. Let's do undo. And let's pick this one. And now let's end it there. There's the PT, the three-point curve. And we're going to end the line work right there. So we drew those two in. Now I want to draw, and I'll use conk, the same code. And I want to draw um, these arcs right here. So I'm just going to see how it draws to do a three-point arc. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay. Let's uh, window up here and... Pick right there, 
Oops, I meant to do start a PC. We'll come right up here. And and I'll come up here and pick right there. Okay, and we're going to end the line work which means we're going to do another one. I'm going to say start a curve. So we're going to start right here. And we'll just pick right there. Looks fairly good, actually. So we're going to end the line work. Pick start a curve again. And we'll just pick right there. And we'll pick right about there. And come back here and just pick right about there. Okay, we'll end that line work. Do start a PC. All right, and line work, start a PC again, and we'll do this one right here. Let's spin it around so we pick right where I want to. And there we go. And we did the steps, and that's pretty much it. I think you're getting the idea. Um, how this is done and let's say that right now I, I want to create a a, um, a little additional cloud of just this area and put in one foot uh, shots right there so we're going to end this so I'm going to come up here and do end action and let's go ahead and do perimeter and I'll just pick a point right there Right there, right there, right there. Not to go crazy. Hit the right key. All right, and now we're going to make a cloud, and we're in Carlson Basic right now, so I'm going to make a cloud, and I'll just say ground underscore sidewalk, cloud one. <laughs> that was a very small cloud, and we'll do none. I'll go back to project. Let's go ahead and save this, and now let's exit out of here, and let's go up to this cloud and do view. And we're just going to do plan view right there. And now oh, I got a little extra area right there. So let's just come up to action, do window, and, and let's do perimeter. You have that. And let's go ahead and delete it. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, we deleted that. And now let's go back to point. And I showed you fill to finish by codes. And we're going to do, we're going to scroll down and we're going to do survey by grid. I'm going to do every foot, very small area, and 0.125, pick the lowest area, and just pick OK. And yeah, created a few points very quickly. Let's scroll up here and action. And I didn't put any descriptions on those. And let's go back to project, do save. I have 208 points now. And let's go ahead and bring it all in. So we're going to go up here and do what? We're going to pick um, field to finish. And 
right now. I'll just bring all the points in there. They're going to be really large. I'm going to redo it, though, because it's way too large. Pick OK. And there you go. Let's do Regen. You can see that those uh, arcs look pretty good right now. And now, as we noted before, that Carlson Basic does not have the ability inside of Carlson Point Cloud Basic 2019 to do a registration and move, rotate, and or scale, but move and rotate into the coordinate system that this job is in, PA South, NADE 83. So if I list these points, you can see that they're all very close to zero, and I need to move these up into state plane, and I have shot control points in this job and picked those points um, in the job right here. Let's uh, close this guy. Let's bring up the original scene, just show one of the targets, and you can see that uh, if I move it over on the pillar, there's a target right there, and I've created a coordinate at that location. And to show you, uh, let's go to CFU underscore for coordinate file utilities underscore coordinate transformation TXT. And you can see that 1001 is this location in this point cloud close to zero. And out in the field, in state plane, in my control coordinate system, I have shot these points with these five targets that I've created by picking here, I have shot them in the field. So I have 1,001 to 1,005 that I picked in the scan for these five targets, and then I shot them with the total station while I was in the control coordinate system. So let's go ahead and um, here I'm going to close this, close that, and we're going to close this. I just want to show you one of the targets, and we're pretty much done here. I just want to show you now that we have created um, by virtual surveying in Carlson Basic, I now need to bring this drawing here, here, and I'm just going to erase it and refill to finish it after I bring them in. So now let's go back to the survey menu and go up to, and right now I want to go back to coordinate file utilities. Okay. And I want to import that ASCII file with the controlled data. So I'm going to do select text ASCII file, and we're going to go to browse, and we're going to get out of here, go back to Carlson Projects, Commands, and there's DPI, and there it is. Right there is the file. And you can scroll down and see those coordinates. Pick open, and it's point number, comma, northern, comma, east, and comma, elevation, comma, description. That is correct. I'm not going to draw the points. I'm just going to bring them in to this coordinate file. And there it is. If I list points, do all, list them. And let's uh, scroll down to the bottom. You can see that when I get past 200, there they are. And now we're ready to transform the points, one through 208 or 220, we'll say. So we go to coordinate transformation here. Local coordinates by point numbers, we're going to do overwrite existing. And I'm just going to pick OK, least squares, squares best fit. And we're going to come down and do point pairs. So I do add, I type 1000, uh, and we'll come down here and type in OK. Do add again, and we'll do 1002, 2000. Two. You can see it's very close to one. Do add again. And we'll do 1,003, 2,003. And add again. And 1,004, 2,004. And last but not least, now we're almost very close to one. Do add, and I'll do 1,005 to 2,005. 
Hit OK. And um, I went a little bit on the high side right there. Um, so I might want to turn that one off. So I'll just come over here and do process on off and I'll turn it off and we'll go with those right there. Now I'm going to do rigid body. I'm not going to scale my data. So I just pick OK. Oh, let's save this point pair list. So I'll just do CFU hyphen CT, coordinate five utilities, one. And is it in that directory? No. <laughs> I want it in my project directory. Carlson point, and I'll put it right there. And we'll hit save, and I'll add that to the list now so that it's in there. So I don't have to keep browsing for it. Pick save. Done. Okay, now when I pick OK, it's going to say, what do you want to transform? Now, I don't want to transform all the points. I just want to do 1 hyphen 2008. Pick OK. And now if I go to list points, and we'll do all, you'll see that, you know, let's maximize this. You can see that up to 2008, they're now in state plane. And I didn't change 1001 to 2005. They're still the, the uh, control points that I had. I pick exit. Let's go to field to finish now. Go to draw field to finish. And it says split all multiple codes. I'm certainly not going to do all the points. I'm just going to do one through 2008. Pick OK. And there they are. Again, they came in a little bit on the big side. Notice that it looks rotated. Wonder why. Um, and I'm going to resize the points. Point 0.2. This is a very small site, so we want to make everything really small. And there we go. Now, let's see how well this fit to the other job that I shot in the field that consisted of field survey data with GPS or robot of about 800 plus points. So let's go up to draw and we're going to do insert and we're going to do from file, hit browse and I want to change uh, this to uh, DXF and let's go here, go to cross a point here, commands and go to DPI. There it is. And we're going to explode it, specify. We're not going to specify anything. Pick insert. And there you go. Looks like it fit really well. And with the uh, actual data in the field. So, so that is the um, example that I wanted to show that you can use Carlson Point Cloud Basic to virtual survey and then transform the data um, XY to the job set that you're working in.